Hello and welcome to Code on the Road. This is the content orientation video. So I'm hoping you've already watched the initial introduction video. If not, please do go back and watch that. So the context of some of this material makes sense. In this video, I'll briefly go over the content that comes uh, from getting unstuck in the Harvard Education Group. There is quite a bit of material here. I just wanted you to be aware of the modules we're going to be covering in the summer program are two out of 10 that are totally available. So there's lots of material that if you find further interest beyond this program, the content is there. So I have modified the first two modules, the when clicked and parallelism. And it worked best in a series of four weekly one hour sessions is how we held it. Some libraries did six and some had students returning for a second series of four. So it's fully adaptable. And I uh, just wanted you to know where the content is that would allow you to go through and see uh, how these pieces were originally pulled together. So the activities are going to be color coded, explore, create, share, and reflect for the students. I've put together the session. So this is just an example breakdown. Don't worry about this. The important piece to highlight here is another reference video that I highly, highly recommend you watch. I'm going to, uh, oops, let me click on it there and just show you it's a YouTube video that in 20 minutes takes you through the creation of a scratch project. So I've used the content from this video to host an introductory session with libraries to get signups and to gauge community interest in the Code on the Road continuous summer program. So you could use this as a one-time introductory event and see how it goes from there and build your Code on the Road after this. So please do watch this 20 minute video. I did want to make sure you were aware of that. So that link is here and you'll see it down below in the details for this video. Um, so again, Design Studio is the concept. There's going to be sharing, creating, exploring, and an important component is a reflecting as well. So I put together all the pieces to get you started and you've already begun your access for Scratch as a teacher. So you can create a studio for the students to share their programs and to create their usernames. So that's all I wanted to cover in this uh, introductory video. I wanted to say thanks for running Code on the Road and we'll see you in the next video.